You're listening to the In Focus Interview Show, brought to you by Photofocus.com, an online publication filled with education and inspiration for visual storytellers. This episode is made possible by our partners Loom Cube, the world's most versatile light, and Robo, a smart storage solution. Now, here's your host, Vanelli. Hello and welcome to a special In Focus interview. I'm Benelli and I'm here in Las Vegas for Photoshop World. Now, Photoshop World is a gathering of photographers, graphic artists, uh, Lightroom lovers, and of course, Photoshop users from all over the world. And we come together for three days of accelerated learning thanks to Kelby One. Now, I'm excited because I have a special guest here and He's, <laughs> you all know him from B&H, and he's a great photographer, thirst for knowledge. This is Abe Curlin. Hello, Abe. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that great introduction. <laughs> but uh, that so, was the great you're, photographer you're, part. You're, I hang around with great photographers. So well, okay, I don't so <laughs> there's, there's a song I really like that says, um, um, she, the, 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 the person in the song is saying how they want to become great someday. Yeah. So it says, I hang with the greats. Oh. Now, I may not be there, but I still hang with All the right. greats because someday I'm going to make it there. Well, I hang so, with the greats. But okay, let's first let's talk about. So the topic is going to be the thirst for knowledge. Yeah. You know, how, how to how to take advantage of situations. To you know how to work. When I say take advantage, I'm not meaning you know in a selfish way. I understand. But how how to use the opportunities? That's a better right. example. T- so, take advantage of opportunities. That's <laughs> perfect. So let's first ask, what do you do at PNH? Well, at B&H right now, and I've been in a lot of positions at B&H since I started there in 2007, but right now I am what's called an affiliate campaign manager, which means that uh, I work in the affiliate marketing department. We have affiliates, if you know what the affiliate program is, how they work. So B&H has affiliates like other companies do, and I'm assigned mostly the photographers, or that's who I mostly have as photographers who um, I deal with them on a day-to-day basis, uh, getting them loans, helping them with uh, getting reviews done, um, and whatever the other needs they have well, so in let, their partnership. I'm glad you said that. So when you go to a website, let's say you go to YouTube, and yeah. you're watching something that's free. It's free on YouTube. Somehow, the, the, the person who's creating that content has to get paid for it. So somewhere they have to get paid for it. Now, through YouTube, it could be through... YouTube, um, ad, ad, ads, That's it could right. be the affiliates, you know, if they're an right. affiliate with B&H. So if you really, if you find somebody you really love and you love following them on YouTube and they do mention, hey, please use my affiliate link, please do, because that's supporting those people. Now, keep in mind, for the re- gear review, in fact, right now, I'm reviewing the new DJ Osmo Pocket that's right. that you that you sent which, to me, which I I sent. Well, I didn't send it to you. I loaned it to loaned you. Loaned it to me. Right? Yes. Which is a very unique part of our affiliate program. Is that exactly. we do loans. Not a lot of affiliate programs don't lend gear. We do. Big. Yeah. It's a big perk. Now, and, and again, because for me, if I had to buy this to do a review on it and not make any money off of that review, well, I, I charity only goes so far. Yeah. You know, I can only do it for so long. <laughs> exactly. So that's where. The partnership with B&H and our photo focus partnership with you is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I'll use one more example. I'm heading into the Badlands, yep. and I, I put a message out on Facebook. Oh, my God, I can't believe this. My 7200 lens, my sports lens, uh, kind of took a dive in the ocean. So that one was gone. So I borrowed my son's 80 to 70, 700, or, sorry, 80 to um, uh is, is it a Nikon? Yeah, Nikon. 80, 80 to 400. 200, 80 to 200. 80 to 200, that was a very, very old lens. Oh. I gave it to him. I forgot that he dropped it a long time ago, or I dropped it, one of us did, and it wasn't working. I'm in the Badlands. He sees it on Facebook. Benelli, what do you need? And he, <laughs> sent, he sent me the Tamron 150 to 600. And that. so I did a review. That's the, the cowboy photo I yeah, have. It's, it's and right. the horses that stared me down. I have that, that, but it's funny how the partnership there. So I thank you so much for all the stuff you've done. And well, we got a little off topic on that, but that's where, again, if you're watching any of your YouTube people or anything from what websites, even in Photo Focus, please do click on their affiliate links to help them so they can give you more content. All right, exactly. now with all that being said, great. How do you take, how do you use that for, for an opportunity? 
Well, um, some people go to their work. They work, at, they start at 9, they finish at 5 or 6, they go home, and that's the end of that. Um, I happen to love my job. I happen to have a great job. I love the people that I work with. So it forms into something more than just a dollars and cents uh, relationship that I have with my, with my affiliates. So we become friends. We become partners, uh, both in business. And I get the opportunity to spend time with them when they're actually doing photography. And I get to learn from that. I, did not, I was not one of these people who picked up a camera when I was in seventh grade. Yes, I had an AE-1 that my father gave me, but I just kind of took some snapshots. No idea what an aperture was. You know, I didn't know the difference between an F-stop and a bus stop, you know. Or, <laughs> um, now, is everybody at B&H into photography? Or not necessarily. Okay. Not necessarily. You don't have to be. But and here's one, um, something that people have always said all the time, a myth. Well, you work at B&H, you get everything for free. Oh, absolutely yeah. not. No. I would rather be an affiliate. <laughs> then, I can, then I can get stuff. I want to be an affiliate so I can get stuff because for me to get to, for me to, to borrow equipment, it, no, it's we, hard. We, you, you can't do that. It's, it's yeah. impossible. b and is, is, is a, wants to remain a viable business. Yes, and you can't just no be way. throwing so, out gear. The, so here's the, what's neat. So here's what's neat. Because you're hanging out with a lot of photographers and graphic artists, it kind of re-inspired you to become a photographer. Absolutely. I uh, met a couple of friends at B&H, and I uh, started to do some photo trips together. Then I started to meet people. I started to talk to people, whether it be Moose Peterson, Kevin Ames from Photo Focus, uh, Scott Bourne, some other people um, would look at my photos. And uh, this, I think, is a very interesting part. So now I do this, but when I show someone a photo, I don't want you to just tell me, that's a nice photo. Tell me exactly what I do. And that's what's I want to know. So when someone shows me a photo, I always I say to them, you want to show me some photos, do you want me to tell you that it's nice or do you want me to tell you what I really think? And I just want to tell one quick story. You can... Yep, fire away. I was in a dentist chair. <laughs> oh, you work at B&H. I just went to Iceland. Oh, I want to show you some pictures. Hope he doesn't see this on YouTube. I hope he doesn't see this. I want to show you some pictures I took. And I said to him, do you want me to tell you what I think? Or do you want me to tell you they're nice? He didn't even understand the question. So and I would just tell him they were nice. I just Especially thought they were nice. The dentist chair. So I, I saw his overexposed, lousy composition, Aurora pictures as he was going crazy and just going, uh-huh, uh-huh, very nice. <laughs> so that's what I've done. I, I, want, I wanted to learn. Uh, I've been told by... People who work with me that I'm very teachable. Uh, is that, that good? Is that a word? I'm, yeah, very I'm, teachable. I'm teachable. Yes. Well, I, yes. And if you're not, te you know, look how many people we all deal with. That's right. And honestly, if a person isn't teachable, I just you, you talk to them. They're not teachable. I don't want to waste my time or waste their time. Right. You know, if they have an open mind, and that's why I said you have a thirst for knowledge. Yesterday, yourself, you, Cabasi, and myself, we went off to Nelson. Right. So Nelson here in Las Vegas is like a ghost town, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, it's kind of uh, cool. And it's incredible. Coming around the corner, we're heading off into this desert. All of a sudden, it starts to come into view. He was like a little kid in the candy factory. <laughs> Cal Cabezzi keeps saying it. He looked in the mirror. There you are. Just all excited it's so beautiful, about yeah. seeing this. And when we got there, of course, it was everything from antique. Old antique old cars, cars. Everything, everything antique. Uh, yeah. Old old pumps. Everything from the old the old world. And so the first thing you did was you grabbed your camera. And you looked at us and said, okay, guys, um, what are you guys thinking? And you asked for advice. What are you guys thinking? Well, it depends. What do you want to shoot? And Because you love landscapes. I do. Right? So you love being like a landscape photographer. So this was a little bit different because you're doing close-up. That's right. You're doing composition stuff. Um, and there was so much texture in photographs. So the neat thing is the opportunity you had was to hang out with Cabasi. Wow, which was a you know, fabulous experience. You know, and then myself teach showing you different things at like one yeah. shot that Rich Harrington that's and I got. That's right. Um, and I loved it because it made a memory. Oh yeah, Rich and I, we were here. What did I tell you? Two thousand and one. We we took that uh -huh. photo together, uh -huh. and now I'm showing it to you. And I can't wait for him to see it. Right. He's going to say the same thing. It came out really good, but I deleted it. Let's see if I can get it back. We'll, we'll hold that back, too. <laughs> so, right, so that was one opportunity. Now, this morning, and I mean, we 
he kind of put you through the mill yesterday. I did. I was exhausted. 4 a.m. He goes out with Moose Peterson. Yep. And what were you guys shooting there? Uh, well, we did a, a sunrise and out in Red Rocks. We, uh, we there's actually just off the road. There's a thing called the Red Rocks uh, Lookout. It's a nice little vista. Has a lot of nice texture and has uh, the, the red rocks and it's got some taller mountains and the sun comes up from the east and kind of bathes into the valley and it's just a really nice uh, moment of, of changing light and Moose was teaching us um, about depth of field and he was teaching us about how to, how to, how to deal with the light and about um, how many stops, you know, using uh, filters and how to get more stops out of your camera and okay. things like that. So let's, okay, so he talked to you about um, f-stops. Well, the stops of light. The most cameras have, let's say, five stops of, have five stops of, uh, you can get like five stops of light out of it, but a, a typical scene in, in bright sun might have nine stops. So, you know, what do you do now? So well, who's so, he telling you? So, uh, using a, a, a graduated filter. We'll, we'll help Perfect. with that, and and um, okay. So he, again, he, he, taught, he, he taught, taught us about the fact that at when you focus to infinity, there's no depth of field. So what what are you shooting at f eight for? Go to go f two eight. I mean, what do you care? Oh, there's another <laughs> good tip. See, so what I'm trying to do here, which is working great, yeah. is you're giving them the same tips That's right. that Moose gave you. That's it. So there was that opportunity. There share was that share the knowledge. The whole paying it forward. So here, what did you hear? What he just said there is. Because I had that habit too, you know, shooting out. Yeah. Because I'm not a landscape photographer. Right. You know, I like it, but you saw, like we saw, we were out in the desert. Yeah. Like, oh look how beautiful this is. I just want to walk out there, and I'm like, walk out where? Yeah. There. Look up where? Right. And then you you saw like the little plants and just so many cool things. You opened my eyes. I'm like, oh okay, that's pretty oh, that's cool. A... I still like the studio scene, or I still uh, like my sports yeah. scene. But the, the tip you just gave. Well, you're shooting a landscape, but if you're shooting into infinity, everything's going to be in focus. So if you shoot at f8 versus 2.8, you just have to shoot, you're just shooting a slower shutter. If you're there at sunrise, you, well, then you need a tripod. Let's hand hold it and do it at f28. So, so that's or a great whatever. tip. So, and okay. you know what? So while you got that tip from Moose, from Moose. let's show, let's share them a tip at Cabasi. I had Cabasi tell you. Cabasi showed me the fist. <laughs> the fist. So. And, if you're out, you don't have a model with you, you want to shoot a model tomorrow, and now I'm, in, I'm here now, let's put up your fish. Your fish will give you a really good idea. Is the Where's sun the coming from over here? Do I need light over here? Is light on the top? It's, it's, it's 2 o'clock, it's 3 o'clock. Okay, it's going to come over here. He had one of those apps, like photo pills. It wasn't called it was in the sunsetter maybe, but he had that just so you can see where the sun's going to come. If my hand's here, the sun's going to come over here. I never thought of that. This is just fabulous. You just go right over here and put your fist up like this. It's, it really simulates uh, pretty much like a, a head. A head. So, and, you know, and you said, can here's see your nose. Yeah. And of course, you know, Cabasi, well, here's your nose. Well, here's Vanelli's nose. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, um, but it was neat because the tip that, that Mike shared with you is yes, you, in, in sunlight, you make a tight fist. So there's the sun coming back. Well, you're going to notice all of this in here is going to be sh in the shadow. You can see the shadows. Under, the, under your hand right. here. You'll know but, we need reflectors, you'll know we need some fill flash, exactly. all that kind of stuff. And then if you notice, right around here is lit. Well, now you know that, that light is wrapping around the subject. Yeah. So if this were a model's face, then you know exactly where that light is gonna hit. So if you didn't have an assistant, you have your fish. So that's what you learned from Cabasi. And then for a moose, a moose, you're taught, you know, when you're photographing these landscapes and you're just photographing to infinity, drop to a lower f-stop so this way you don't need you don't a longer need, exposure. You don't need longer exposure. And uh, of course, there's other, there's other factors. These are just some simple tips. Doesn't mean that every single landscape photo you go exactly. to F2.8 and, and just go to infinity because you may want to be telling some other kind of a exactly. story, which uh, Moose is really, really um, fabulous at teaching. And what I've learned a lot is that what's the story you're trying to, you have to think about that photo. Uh, how many times do we see on Facebook a photo of a red sky? Wow, what a great island. It's a red sky. I, I, I mean, what, <laughs> and what happened? What happened? There's nothing. There's nothing to so, tell over here. So another tip you brought out, which is really good. Somebody, an amateur, and there's nothing wrong with, with amateur photographers, even photographers wanting to go to the next level. Right. There's nothing wrong with wanting to share your work with others. But here's the thing: if you share your work with others, and you ask for a critique, please make ask. Well, how do you want to be critiqued? As a beginner, as a novice or intermediate, as an advanced photographer, or as a paid professional. Because if you're, you tell me how you want me to critique you. Well, if they say, well, I was paid for a professional, 
I had one shot and Cabasi caught it. The wedding ring was slightly crooked. He went nuts on me because that is something I should have caught. I didn't have an art director on set and we were running and gunning. Usually I'll have two people with me. They would catch something like that because I'm thinking technical, right. all yeah. these other things. But he's, other than that, it's a great photo. Well, no, and that, that, go, but go, go, go to a Peter Hurley cr cr criticism, uh, critique. Criticism. No, no, take, <laughs> cut. No, Peter, <laughs> critique. I've, he comes to B&H to speak in the event space a lot. And you'll, the people bring in pictures, and I'll see a photo, and they'll look at it, and he'll just like, ah. And I'm like, I can, what does he see over there? And he sees only goes, you know, shabang. And the, what does he see over there? So I'm trying to see those things now. I, 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 I must. Yeah, it takes practice. My brother Joe is a, is a chef. He went to Paul Smith College in New York. We cried when he went off to college yeah. because he always cooked for us. Growing up, oh, <laughs> and he, he's just he's just absolutely phenomenal. So my brother Joe is a major chef. Yeah, when I cook for him, I'm like I get a little nervous because I don't want him critiquing yeah, everything yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. You know, or I ask him, Joe, when you go out to eat, I mean, is it hard to eat other people's food? Because what do you mean? I said, do you like constantly critique when you're eating? Like, oh man, I wish they did yeah. this, this, or oh, wow. They're, miss, they're missing three grams yeah, of yeah. basil. You or, know? Or, or, <laughs> wow, this tastes incredible. Yeah. I wonder what he did different. Let me check. He goes, yeah, no, you're overthinking it. I'm hungry. I eat. So, uh, okay. and, so and sometimes with photos, it's the same thing. Sometimes you don't need to overanalyze it because if you look back at some of the old Marilyn Monroe photos um, and you look back at some of the old classic photos, that were not in a studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even a lot of the Beatles coming off the plane and stuff, technically, a lot of them are not good photos. If you look from the technical side, hey, well, this is blown out. You know, yeah, look where the shadows are falling. Yeah, but who they, cares? They, they couldn't, they couldn't chimp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they couldn't chimp. Um, but so who cares? It's the content, you know? And that's something that, that I've worked at over the years where enjoy it. You, know, you see something you like, take the picture. Right, yeah, so, take, take the picture. But if you, right, but, but, but if you want to get, if you want to get better, be open to critique, right. and, and accept it. Don't, don't, you know. Well, gee, you took a picture of that bird, but the, uh, you, you know, the bird's not coming out; it's going away from you. Well, I mean, that's where it's going. Okay, well, then it's not a good picture. It, it's, it's still not a good picture. People always say that when you critique the photos. Yeah, You'll, they'll say. I say, well, you know, like it's like a little bit blown on here. Yeah, well, I didn't have really time to. Okay, it's still not a good photo. Yeah. <laughs> good. All right, so that was your other yeah. tip. Yeah. Being being open minded to critiquing. Yes. And what other one you had a chance to photograph wildlife photography with Scott Bourne? Yeah, I do bird, birds bird with Scott photography. Bourne. Yeah, bird photography. So, yeah. and I, I did see one. Was it a Roadrunner? No, what did you have? No. No. Um, you had a little bird in um, in the bird. desert. You called. You gave it a the, name. Oh, the, 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 I, I can't say it. Fano, I think it's the Fano Pepla. That's the one. Okay, good. The but Fano Pepla. how did you catch, how did you, what did Scott teach you to be able to see, like, we can walk together and you're going to notice stuff like that. I'm going to, what are you looking at? Yeah, that, that comes, then I, I, I just learned by watching and realizing that, uh, walking with, with Scott and, and also with Jason Hahn, I've gone out with how I noticed that they really have this sixth sense for, Catching movement, and it's just ah. something you just develop. You just you'll catch movement in your eye. Now, I, now it's a natural thing for me. I can catch a, a bird flying, and it, you know, and get it right away. Um, well, that's cool. But uh, really, I mean, Scott Scott has has been a been a, a great mentor in my bird photography, which is my major passion. That that is what I do mostly. Uh, from all the other photography, if there's one thing I'm going to do, if I have to do one kind, it would be the bird photography and. Besides teaching me the patience and, 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 and other tips, I mean, he has taught me that you need to have water, you need to have food, and you need to have cover. And there will be birds. Now just sit down and wait. And then you hope, you want the sun at your back, and you hope that the wind is coming from your back, blowing into the front of you. So this way the birds And you cannot control that. Gotcha. And if you don't get it this time, you'll have to come back again. But the birds will be there. And every bird can be taken a picture. I take a picture of a cowbird. Very common cow. Take a picture of a common sparrow. If you get a nice background. I mean, just, I mean, there's a million things I've just learned. These little tips. He's taking the time out. He's very generous like that. 
Well, that's I, great. I appreciate it very much. And now you're getting into headshots and portrait photography. A little bit. Yeah, people are starting to ask me. They say, I got, you know, oh, you got a camera. You take pictures, you know. You know, there, there are people who are professional photographers. And there are people who get paid to take pictures. Okay. I, I put myself in the, in the category of I get paid to take pictures. They want to come in, do a headshot. And when I get better, then I'll become call well, okay. a professional. So with that being said, I mean, I'm not sure what your prices are. Plus, you're in New York. Yes. It's the city area, so right. I'm sure it's different from the the rest of the yeah. country. Huh. But you brought out a good point. You said, look, you know, there's people that get paid. So there's pictures. people who photograph celebrities, and they get paid huge money because... You know, well, yeah. But there are professional photographers, that they are professional photographers, and they get paid the price for it. And there are people who just pick up a camera and say, I'm... But a, you're I, still... I, I looked at your work, and we, we talked about critique yes, and some of yes. it. The past ones you did very fine. There yes. Be, the people you're, you're... I'm hard on myself. Yeah, but I'm very hard. Yeah, I, I want to be hard on myself. I want to be hard on myself. Yeah, and that's and good. My, 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 the people who come to me are very happy. They keep recommending more people to come to me. Uh, the, what I like about the headshots is just the interaction. You are trying to bring out an emotion. You're trying to bring out a personality. And uh, it's a talent. It's a, someone like Peter Hurley who's got a, a great talent for that. Uh, I believe that uh, someone like Kevin Ames also is probably very good at that. Uh, Levi Sim is probably really good at that. See, um, so all the names he's throwing out, he's not name dropping by no means. What no. he's doing is by telling yeah. you these, by doing these names, is for you to go out and look and listen to. Right. right. To, to find out, well, what is Abe talking about? You learn from these guys. Now, one of the things I want to work with you is maybe when you retire, you have yeah. more time, yeah. is I'd love to look at my Assassin series yeah. or the a series with you. So pick, yeah. a, pick a funny series you'd like, and I'll work yeah. with you on yeah. how yeah. to uh -huh. develop it from beginning to end. Right. And maybe use your grandchildren. Right. Something, <laughs> not, not for the Assassin. When I move to Florida, right? Yes, when you come to Florida. <laughs> so I'm, I'm try, he has a choice between Florida and Las Vegas. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get him back to Florida area. So, but so these are things. I'll never happen. relax if I come down there because we'll be together all the time. <laughs> so but my this wife is will be jealous. Yeah. And he's a phenomenal wife. So, so this is what's really cool is you're in a position at B and H. You could do a simple nine to five. I come in, punch my time card. I'm out of here. Done. I don't want to do anything Send else. Send me an email. I'll look I'm at here. it in the morning. Yep. You want boom. But instead, he interacts with the rest of us. And on these shoots here, for you're here for B&H to yes. meet with the affiliates. He could easily, we had dinner last night. Okay, we're done. Bye. See you. Nope. He wakes up at 4 a.m. And now he goes out and shoots again. And what's neat is, Abe, this is why I said I really like, but the teachable part is you share that with others. You know, and I saw you with that when we were with myself, Kevin, um, when we were in New York City. I, yeah. We went out and did little yeah. headshots. And I showed a couple tips, the reflector, yeah, yeah, yeah. how to do things quick. You are quickly to say, oh, I like these ideas. Oh, I see. So if I do A, B, and C, this is how I get the shot. And then you share that knowledge with other people. And then that's how we make the photography world better. You know? Well, it's a, it's a beautiful community. It's one thing I like about the photography world. Uh, we're, it's a pretty, pretty neat community in general. You, you don't find it to be very, um, I haven't seen it at all. I don't feel there's these, this, this you know, intense political, like, I'm better than you. You're better than me. Jealousy. I don't see that. I see. Uh, I see the same Good. people at all the shows, whether it be WPPI, NAB, uh, Imaging USA, Photo Photoshop World. You see a lot of the same people are, are being floated, are floating around. That means they get along with everybody, and it's really that makes it a beautiful oh, that's community. Great it's a it's a wonderful thing. Well, just walk down any show with with <laughs> Vanelli, and you can see how many uh, what what it means uh, gregarious and what it means oh, being loved. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so hey, so this is technically. Not even day one of Photoshop World. Tomorrow we actually. Tomorrow's starts. day one. This was pre-con day. Pre-con day. Where people went out and did. I'll be busy. Of... I'll be busy now because once it starts, I can't get all to anybody. Yeah. So I just, I kind of just hang around. We have a we're gonna have a booth in there. I'll hang around in the in the in the, in the show and and I'll probably just get myself out. Off the few, top of your head, what's the booth number? Do you know? No. I mean, but you can't That's miss them. It's a small floor. Okay, good. So you can't miss them. You so can't if miss you, the if you are here at the show, please stop by and see a. Say hi to him. Nah, you won't find me at the booth. Uh, well, leave your card at the booth. I'll well, find you. Look at his face. It'll be easy to recognize him. <laughs> so if you see him, stop and say hi. And yeah, their, listen, oh, I love I love meeting people. Hey, I, thank you. I know you got to be exhausted. So thank you very much. You better, you better hit the, uh, take a quick nap. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do that. There's uh, the meetup and a few other things. Uh, I, I've done, that doesn't include me, I don't think. You're welcome to it. I, I told you welcome to come with me to the instructor dinner. What's Truly. the meetup? Uh, after the instructor dinner, from seven to eleven at night. Yeah. Where? Um, at the still, 
right here in the hotel. It's a it's a bar. Yeah, the well, it's, yeah, it's uh, a bar. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a club or whatever. Yeah, yeah. How do you get in? You just walk right in. But anybody can get in. Well, yeah, because I think it's yeah, not, it's not not it's not being nope. uh, it's not being put aside just for Kelby people. No, nope. So people are just kind of meeting up exactly. at the still at what seven o'clock? Yep, seven o'clock to sure. eleven. I would I'm come so over sorry. about eight thirty. Yeah, so eight thirty nine o'clock maybe. I'll come yeah, over. that'll be great. I apologize. Those are buddy. Yeah, yeah. those are buddy Dave Mosher. Oh, <laughs> well, I, well, I see. Um, Mike tonight, maybe? Uh, Dick Macy will be there. At the still? Yep. And oh. so will, um, Joe McNally should be there. A lot of the instructors should all be there. Okay. Maybe this not. is for anybody. Are you sure I can show up? Oh, God, yeah. yes. Yeah, it's, it's wide open. People tell them. <laughs> like, all right. Yeah. But plus, just walk. I'm a friend of an Ellie. We'll take care of it. Hey, guys. Or Abe, thank you so much for taking your time <laughs> yeah, the best, out of your man. schedule. Well, I've been Ellie for Photo Focus. I'm being aged for. I, no, I'm not BNH. I'm Abe for BNH. <laughs> hey, I think you. I am Mr. BNH, actually. Someday they're going to say, that's the face of BNH. <laughs> well, the, Don't tell you. Mr. Shrive to that. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. If you're watching, you're listening to this on the podcast. And if you want, we did a special interview, which was being video. Uh, it's also like a video interview. You can see it over at the Photo Focus uh, YouTube. Oh, beautiful. I'm famous. Thank you again. I'm Vanelli. I want to see a million likes. <laughs> We'll talk soon. All right. Bye. Thanks. You are listening to the In Focus Interview Show. If you like these interviews, be sure to subscribe to our weekly Photo Focus podcast on photofocus.com. Thank you for joining us.